Once upon a time. I don't know this game. This is Air Fortress. Is it? This is Air Fortress, dude. So are we a fortress? This is one of the first games I ever played. Is this true? Yeah. I had an NES and I had this game specifically. No. Look at it! Look at it! Dude. Look at it! He's got an exhaust pipe out of his ass. Yes, he does. This is uh, what I affectionately refer to as Doopy Alien, or Doopy Astronaut. Look at him! He's so doopy. The inhabitants of the planet Farmel have lived in peace since the establishment of the Stardate Calendar. They have traveled all the way around the galaxy with a new spy aircraft called, called the Light Ship. Then one day, peace was disturbed, and everything was. And then there were air fortresses! No match for the superior defenses of the air fortress! Paul Bailman, Light Blaster, Armored Suit. Man, Hal Laboratories made this game. You can't know, call dude. him Hal Bailman. You can't. That's against the rules. What are you talking about? Hal Labs made this yeah, game? Yeah, Hal Labs made this game. Mm. Yeah, you can see Hal Laboratories Incorporated. Well, all right. who was the guy who you made... You want to uh... start it up? Yeah, dude. Oh, let's do it. who was the guy who what? Didn't Hal, like, make the first Smash Brothers? Yep. Did they continue to make Smash Brothers, know, or dude. did Nintendo just be like, Ah, it's us now! I don't know, dude. I don't know either. Here we go. Alright. Oh, so you're the astronaut. <laughs> you're like... You, it's like doopy, those fucking, doopy, like, doopy. things where you're learning to swim, and you have, like, those little boards that are, like, up, like, you know, those like, little small floaty boards. Yeah. And you just, like, hold them to your chest and kick your legs. Like, uh, what are they called? Uh, boogie boards? No, it's not a boogie board, but it's sort of the same thing, but smaller. Yeah. It's like for when like like a wakeboard or a... no, it's even smaller than that. It's like it's like I don't even know how to. Describe I know what you're referring it. to. It's, it's like, like a, little... a foam like piece. Yeah, it's like a foam two by one foot rectangle. It's like somebody just cut it out of their old couch and they're like, ah, it floats. Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough for my kids. Just throw it in the pool, dude. I gotta get e bubbles. Dude, look now you're e for you everyone. Did... Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so the point of this game, or at least this first section, is to get power-ups uh -huh. for the Air Fortress. Okay. E gives you uh, more health and jetpack. Those two things are connected, I guess. Maybe it's oxygen, and you use the oxygen to, like, fuel the flame of your jetpack. What is that? And also, it's your energy. But it respawn. Or it, uh, like... Shit. Uh, but it... I'm also not used to the NES controller for this. Or yeah, the uh, Super, Super Nintendo, Nintendo controller for this. I think it's still probably better than the Retron one. Yeah. Not that we're um, we're not yeah. using a Retron. Not that we're using. We're it, playing yeah. the, on the on the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah. The whole point of getting the Retron was that it played them, but you still needed the carts for it. Mm-hmm. So we're still buying all the cons, or we're still buying all the carts. Yeah. Which is what I've wanted from the get go. Rather I have to than, uh, okay. Brace for impact. Okay. There's another <laughs> God bless your soul. Shit, dude. What, dude? I shed my pants a little bit. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. I'm gonna smell it. I'm sorry. It's, it's just That's impressive. The anyway, so after that first section of getting power ups, oh, you're doing. You become. <laughs> God damn. Holy shit, man. Dude, okay. that? Oh, God, on the capture, it looks awful. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, so yeah. This is an EVA, huh? An EVA? You played Kerbal Space Program, it's an EVA. Whoop. Extravehicular activity. Yep. Okay. It's one of the space it's one of the space guys. He is such a doopy astronaut! <laughs> I know! And when you shoot, it you go backwards. Back. Yeah, uh, it's cool. really cute. I like the game a lot. Dude, this is just yeah. like Mega Man. And the music is pretty good. Shit. I'm I'm taking too much damage. Um So E is your life? B is, what I is, can't go diagonal right because of the way that the <laughs> the Retron has the like multi-directional joystick. This one does not. Anyway, what is were that you a meat me? grinder? Yep. It's also an elevator. <laughs> they were like, huh? How can we uh, make our meat grinders also uh, for transportation? Oh, I know. Yeah. So so E up in the corner is my health and my jetpack. Okay. So yeah, it is just like so, compressed yeah. gas. Yeah. Or air or whatever. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Look at his little shuffly feet. He's got little shuffly feet. He doesn't bend at the knees. Yeah. He's, he's like so a penguin. Cute. Maybe he's just in like one of those shitty spacesuits. Like, have you ever seen the the actual spacesuits they used on the moon? No. Um. Shit. I tried to do the thing where you can pop out. Dude, I'm watch out. I played so Star badly. Fox. I know space butterflies are dangerous. <laughs> 
Do you have bombs? Yeah. They're for bombing things. Now, you can't actually use the bombs until- Shit, dude! Get out of the floor! This shouldn't be allowed! Dude, that's a land shark butterfly. Why is this butterfly fucking me sideways right now? Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> oh, you're such a fucking asshole. Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> so are we, are, we pa are we passing off this game? Like, nope. No, okay. You're, you don't get to play. Okay, that's fine. We can pass it off if you want to. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying earlier that we were gonna pass this one off. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna play it, it looks pretty cute. Is that Mother Brain? Yep, that was Mother Brain. Did you just Samus? Um, uh -huh. Did you just... I just, I just Samus'd the uh, Mother Brain, uh -huh. and now, and now we can name this episode Naked Samus and get all the views. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh okay. look, it's Mother Brain now, again. Now, this is the core of the Air Fortress. And you blow it up. And then all the lights go out, and the music changes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you, you gotta get out, man! And then oh, you wait. do. So then your motorcycle just is conveniently parked at the exit. And then you fly out of the Air Fortress. Okay, so this is like the Death Star. Yeah. It's it's a really cool game. It's, I like it a lot. So it's basically like the, 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 the trope of like, there's a huge, indestructible thing, we can't do it with our fleets, let's just say yeah, a single Yeah, I was about to say unit. that. Like, this is the superior uh, defenses of the Air Fortress. Gotcha. I would just like to express that to everyone. And every uh, level you start off with new energy. Like, you don't- it doesn't carry over from the last one. Gotcha. I just really like the, uh- oh shit, I forgot that the ground is the most dangerous thing. Um... And space jacks. Oh, dude, those are just jacks. Space jacks, defend yourself. Do you think that cracker jacks are like popcorn that they harden and caramelize to make them like real jacks? Yeah, so that you could play and eat. It was during the Great Depression when they didn't have a whole lot, so the money could go towards two things at the same right, time. Right, and is that why people say like, don't play with your food because it's like a social status symbol now yeah. because you can afford real toys? Yeah. I see. Yeah. Cracker Jacks really suffered after the Great Depression. Oh. That's why they don't exist anymore. Right. And the, or why the toys are shit that come out of them. Yeah, they don't. They can't afford real good toys. Maybe it's that they started as Cracker Jacks so that you could play with your food, but then they were like, "Oh shit, the show's so stigma." Oh, I know. I'll just uh, we'll just start putting toys in the bag mm. now, and that's why you get Cracker Jack toys. Oh yeah, that's true. That, that's how it works. They were like, now they don't have an excuse. They can't play with the Jacks, but they can if they. Come on. Is that it, seriously the end? Dude, the password. I ate a. I ate a. Like the moon. Yeah, I ate a what? But there is good news. You can just continue with the oh, gotcha. next Air Fortress. You can just I got shot the level over. Yeah. Here I go. What are the How buttons? It? It's exactly what you think it is. Okay, here I go. <laughs> so I'm I'm the Space Fortress, right? Yep. That's you. Space Fortress. Mr. Space Fortress, because you, uh, you haven't gotten your degree yet, but you're working towards it. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Those, those uh, sinusoidal waves, man. Oh, fuck. They're tricky. This tricky does not it. handle, like, freaking Satan's Hollow. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's, it's like, weirdly, uh, the controls aren't, aren't the best. They're not bad. What about that diamond thing I got? I thought uh, it was made me invincible. Yeah, it makes you invincible, but not against, uh, not against certain walls, apparently. Oh. <laughs> I, Hold I on, ate, give me another shot. I ate a wall. <laughs> you okay. may want to use this controller just because it has the better joystick. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Does it actually just pick up right away? Yeah, I'm sure it will. And it A and B are these two. Okay. Okay. A Wait, is B the also middle shoots? button. And yeah, while you're on the spaceship, A and B do the same thing. But then when you're in uh, the Air Fortress, A, shoot your gun, B, shoot your bombs. Okay. Which makes sense. It's about what you'd expect, yeah. Get out of here, Jax! Uh, you, you were my favorite much better Mortal Kombat the, character. Do you see how the... Oh my god. It's so much better. What? Uh oh Once you have the actual control stick. Shit, this sucks. Oh, and I'm yeah, everything... Yeah, everything destroys you immediately. The, uh, is that a background thing, or is that- oh, no, it's a real thing. Well, there you go! <laughs> Space Fortress, everyone! <laughs> that, that pattern Adds back Air Fortress to you, thank you? Because there's tons of air. Dude, uh, can you see the bubble? Yeah, dude. It's air. Yeah. But you need air. Mm. But you, you need... Also, 
so I don't know if it's Air Fortress because there's air inside the fortresses, or if it's Air Fortress because they are in the air, which they are not. Mm. Also, if you hit the buttons at the same time, you get double fire because it's not programmed. Yeah. To avoid that. Gotcha. Do you hear it? Do you hear how good I am at this game? Also, Space Jacks, you just, you just have to avoid them. That's... Because they just fly at you non-stop. Dude, it's so much better. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. B for boy. E for... Your... Dude, Space Bees. Um... Yeah, but the, fucking, the difficulty curve... The difficulty curve is insane. It's real in this steep. Game. Yeah. First level, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, pretty easy to get through. Second level, uh, you'll just see. You'll see. Let me get inside the Air Force and then we'll uh, next time on Pressure Gauge. Dude, look at this. Just look at this shit, dude. This game? Yeah. I'm looking at it. No. God. Do you see how doopy it is? It Do looks like it's the background, why? but it's not. I uh, know. It's, uh, I think it's a trial and error type game. A lot of NES games suffered from that. Like, hey, just play the game a bunch and figure it out, rather than Make it uh, there being, uh, like, clarity. Which, it was NES, so... They were like, instead oh. of a tutorial, how about we, uh, put in more game? Let's just throw you in, head first, by the balls. And a lot of times, I think it was used to lengthen the games. Yeah, that's true. Like, if you had to, uh... If you had to do it 400 times, and there were only 8 levels, mm -hmm. then if they made it hard, that's like, oh, you're gonna get your money's worth, right? Uh, yeah. So, alright, we are entering the Air Fortress. But we're gonna do it next time on Pressure Gauge. I wonder if this was actually the inspiration for Metroid. I think it Probably. might actually have something to do with it, because that, that would make a whole lot of sense. I wonder if my doopy astronaut's a girl. <gasps> Maybe you should get naked and find out. Yeah. Naked Doopy Astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> Title of the episode. <laughs> naked Doopy Astronaut. Okay.